Howdy, it's uh, Hakases from uh, Eric Dallard's shop, EPD Laboratories, and uh, the, we're attempting to do the preliminary work to get a Telerik communication rig going. Uh, this is set up pretty much the same as yesterday, but some improvements have been made. Uh, as normal, have the uh, ham radio transmitter currently limited to about 50 watts, uh, running through a Pi tuner. Uh, not ideal, but it does seem to work in this situation. Pi tuner runs through the red and black lead to uh, what is currently set up as a one-to-one -one matching transformer due to the impedances we've been measuring. Uh, there's an extra set of windings here that isn't being used and uh, essentially the red windings is being used to drive from the ham radio side and the black winding, one end of the black winding is running through this RF uh, thermocouple amp meter that's running through this uh, bundle of copper wire which is going beneath the bench here uh, getting branched out to eight separate uh, actually ten separate ground leads uh, that leads into a very large high capacity tank uh, sitting beneath the uh, shop. Uh, the measured impedance for this system is supposedly around one ohm so as long as we get a good connection to that that would be good uh, the impedance, uh, the other end of that black lead leads through the yellow wire up to the base of a Tesla extra coil. Uh, this is one that was constructed by uh, Griffin Brock earlier, uh, I think uh, somewhere around Christmas last year, donated for the cause. Uh, this is in the 160 meter band, so between 1.8 and 2 megacycles. Uh, below that we have a uh, field strength meter used for tuning, the electrostatic field. Uh, and the measured drive impedance using the VNA of this coil is approximately 50 ohms or just below. So that's one of the primary reason why the one-to-one -one impedance match transformer uh, seems to work so good, uh, work so well. So if I uh, check here, we're currently tuned at 1927 kilocycles, and uh, if I tune it up, uh, 50 watts, way too bright to see anything with the fluorescent light. But you can note on the uh, field strength meter, we have uh, a field, and on the RF amp meter, we have uh, just below two, it's about 1.8 amperes of uh, RF current uh, being fed back and forth through the earth. So this is the initial setup that we have now, and uh, we'll be setting this up, I believe, tomorrow morning to do a somewhat long-range propagation test, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. So. Thanks for watching.